Lee, what can I say? Um, first half, fine, 2 0 up. You're thinking, go on in the second half, get a few more, you know what I mean? Really make a statement. I've got to say, I'm kind of feeling at the end of the game, I was wanting the whistle to blow. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because it was looking like, if anything, they'd be the ones to score. You have to ask yourself a few questions today. Look, that messing about in the box, uh, Gwendozi done that in the first half. And got away and with got it. Got away with yeah, it. Was, yeah. But did he learn, or did they learn from it? No, they just can't do it. You're 2 0 up in a game, away from home. Can you tell me what the advantages of doing that little things around there? There's only one thing that can happen, and that's what happened. And we now go 2-1 down. And at the end of it, you know, today, Emery, I'm telling you, he's, he's, now, he's on thin ice now, Robbie. I've got to say that, like, you know. So you're the second person. No, no, I'll tell, tell you why. Five games. Five fifth games. Game. Five games. Count the other eight before last season. Count them other eight as well. Because certainly their manager got the sack on the, on the, on the back of that. Right, you know. They got the sack on the back of that. A poor form going into last season. So let's not just say it's five games. The eight that he should have, you know, we only had one win in eight last time around. And now we've got another five games. And it ain't good enough, Robbie. It ain't good enough. I look at it today with his substitutions. We're two, one up. He takes all of our attacking options from our midfield creative players off in Ozil and Sobias, right? And they then create chance, chance, shot, shot on it. It was like, had three shots at 27 us. shots. 27 so. shots and he's trying to put people in to hold the thing. I don't think any of them know what they're doing. I don't think they know what they're doing. Also, key. Right, I've, I've, I've heard people here just having a go at the youngsters that have played out here today. Who is the ones making the mistakes, Robbie? Socrates is an experienced player. You telling me is it? He's playing a ball that ain't even getting out of our 18-yard box. An internet Greek international. He wants to get back on the. I don't know what he wants. He wants to get back on the plane and piss off from this club because he can't defend and he can't play football. End of experienced player. I then see David Louise giving away another penalty. I then see Kalasnich having a go at a young kid today. A young kid, right? Do your own fucking job properly before you start having a go at kids. You know what I mean? That none of them can can do anything like that. You know, defending a day is shambolic, and three of them defending have got experience. Defending all season has been yeah. shambolic, and it's going to cost us and cost us. And they're having a go at a young kid that's just starting out. It's a disgrace. The three of them, experience. You know, tell me, ask me a question today. You know, people are saying Tobias, like you know, comes off today, right? We was totally in control of that game because he gets onto the ball, he, he plays it fast, he plays it short, he runs, he does everything you want. You took him off and Watford, who were bottom of the league, took over this game of football. They were completely controlled the midfield in that second half. Completely. Offense. Every time it went into the midfield, they just got the ball and they just back at us again. Right. Every single time. And, you, and you've got defensive midfield players or defensive-minded players in there and they created and created. You know, you've got to ask yourself why. He stood there today, he, uh, you know, 20 minutes from the end, right? He's made all of his defensive substitutions against Watford, against Watford, who are bottom of the league, 20 minutes left of the game, right? So if it does go wrong, what can we do to rectify that? Nothing. Well, to be fair, he bought on Reese Nelson as well, didn't he? So yeah, well, that was an attacking option. Well, well. How, long was that? How, long, how long did he have? 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes? Mm. You know? And then I look at it, Robbie, we're 2 1 up. I want to I wanna ask the question, all the Emery lovers out there, man, of, of, of it all. Right? We're 2 1 down. Right? We're 2 1 down. Hey, hey, shut up, mate, we are. Well, shut up. Right? Two, two, we're 2 1 down. Right? We're 2 1 down. Yeah? And we've got um, Torreira, yeah? on the six yard box trying to score. He is on there, he has been put on there to defend that lead. So you tell me why is he our furthest forward, forward player in that, in that attack. He gets the shot off, the goalkeeper saves it, within three passes they've got a penalty. You know what I mean? Like, so at the end of the day, are these players just not ignoring their manager? Or is, is the manager losing it a little bit, Robbie? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying, putting things out there mm. that I start. I look at that game today and I worry for Emery. So you say thin ice. What, what would you give him then, like this season? Well, listen, are you going to give him the whole season, or no? No, no, no. I, 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 listen, have a look at it seriously now. Do you think we're going to get top four? What I've seen, what you're seeing, well, it's still early, it. though, isn't it? It's still, still early. Still early, but you know, is it early if we lose six games on the trot? Is no, it early? No, no, no right. Yeah, so, Emily, we've got eight points. I said we've got eight points, right? So that means that Tottenham are above us, who are supposed to be in crisis over the last few weeks. Yeah, Chelsea are right, right up there now with eight points. You know what I mean? Man United are above us. 
You know, well, you've got to ask. All these teams are in disarray, and we're not above them. We've not we've not kicked on. And you've got to like when you say about Finn Ice, you have to look back at the last eight games of last season and these ones as well. The defensive frailties of our side have not been improved. I got slagged off at the beginning of the, se the beginning of the season for saying that our, tra our transfer window wasn't great. You know, I mean, we've not improved on that at all. Now, are you telling me that Bellerin and Holding are going to come straight back in and improve that? And Tierney, I don't think so. It's going to take them weeks. It's going to take them weeks. And if you look at it, like, you know, people like Alan Smith have turned around and said, you know, we had little whispers that the players are not sure what's going on. Well, I don't, you don't need fucking whispers today, Robbie. I'll see it out on the pitch. They were clueless. How many chances did Watford create today? How many? You know what I mean? Bottom of the league. You know, so, yeah, I do think he's on thin ice.